today I'm going to make this video a bit faster. Um, you may pause throughout the video if you need to catch up. And um, please like and subscribe. So, um, today we're going to learn how to make a 3D object. And eventually with that, you can create this. It's a 3D noob I made while I was testing with 3D. Um, and then, yeah, you can see I added the my variable in there. I didn't need to do that. I just used that to test it. Anyway, so you should create a project. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it like 3D thing or something like I use the tutorial or something, whatever. Um, I would recommend doing something like 3D and then whatever shape you're going to do, I'll just do cube. Alright, so in this one you aren't going to learn how to draw something 3D, it's going to be how to code something 3D. So the f what you first want to do is have one costume to start and you can make any shape whether it's a circle or it's a square um, and you can even make your own shape whatever you want um, but you may know a, a square will turn out as a cube and a circle will turn out as a cylinder. Um, right now I'm going to make a cube. You can color it any way you want. Um, but whatever you do, don't make an outline. It'll just appear all of that outline. Um, if you, if, also I'll recommend filling it in. Otherwise it'll just be like the outside of a 3D cube with a big hole in top and bottom. Um, yeah, you can name this sprite cube. Alright, I think this only uses like 25 blocks, in fact. Um, what you first do is drag in when flag clicked. Go to 0. X0, zero, Y0. Zero. Set size to 100. And then hide. And you shouldn't see it when you start the project. It's gone. Not for good though. Um. All right, and wh why we're hiding is um, I'll I'll tell you later once we're farther into the code. All right, then you want to put a repeat block in. I create clone of myself, and uh, change y by one. Um. You don't have to do go to x zero y zero. Um, you can change it to something else, whatever. And when you're making this project, make sure you click save throughout, and make sure you're you're signed in. Um, and yes, I actually am two seven nine one three nine and two seven nine one three nine. This. All right. You'll notice still nothing happens when you do this when you click the flag. Um, so you're, alright, let me go through that this code does. First, you're going to the center, you're hiding so you can't see the square. You're setting size to 100, which is the regular size. So, if this was the project screen, you'd be that size. And then, you're repeating 10 times, creating clone of myself, which is making a duplicate, and then going up one. Um, this repeat can be any number. Um, make sure it's not very high because what this number does is is this how tall your shape is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna try to make this a bit more squared. There, are 56, 56 by 56, perfect square. Um, So I'm going to set this to 20 
Um, feel like that'll be good. Then it's still doing nothing really. So I would, when I start, so Dragon, when I start as a clone and click show. Now you realize when you, when you click the flag, it does this. Um. Then you notice you can't you can't really see anything. So what I'm going to do is set brightness effect, which makes it brighter. And then if you go in the negatives, it makes it darker. So I'm going to set it to negative 45. Put it under the set size to 100. So then it looks like that. And then you're going to do, after the change rod by one in the loop, change brightness effect by one or whatever number you want. I'm going to do like two. And then it's going to look like that. But um, I'm going to change this to 56, like that, to make it perfect square. Change this by 1. Oh, it's not looking very perfect square, so I'm going to change it to 45. Alright, you might be thinking, like, it just looks like a gradient, not, nothing special about it. Um, well, we're not to that, that point yet. <laughs> so, I might want to change this. Alright. Um, you might want to set that number to the same number like that if you're doing by one. So then it goes up to the exact color it was here. Um, you can you can color your square anything you want. Um, gradients would probably look weird, <laughs> though. And so basically, that's all we have. Now, what we're next gonna do is drag a forever block under the one I started the clone shell, and drag in two if blocks under each other. In the Forever means it's always happening, and these if blocks mean if whatever's in there is true, then it'll do whatever's in this area. Um, so we're going to do if key left arrow pressed, and then if key right arrow pressed. Put that under the forever. And then you're going to put in an if key left arrow pressed. You're going to put in turn left five degrees, and if key right arrow press, turn right five degrees. Then after you click the flag, look, look at this. It's already moving when you use left and right. It's already turning, and it looks like a a three D cube. Um. You may not be perfect. Later on, I might want to change it. Then you, you, you pretty much have it. Um, right there, and that's only 18 blocks. Um, you could stop now if you wanted to and watch some other video on YouTube. But if you want to make this 3D new, you might think this part is different than this part and than, than that part. Then you can continue watching and I'll show you how to do something like that. Alright, so to make that 3D noob, first I made a rectangle which represented the legs of the, well, noob. I colored it green because the noob's legs are green. I rounded the edges with the shape changer tool, which you can do by adding new points on both sides of the corners then deleting the actual corner. Um, 
um, I might want to make this a bit less, let's blur this, <laughs> um, then to symbolize the part between the legs, like, because when you have legs, they're exactly next to each other, because then that'd be hard to walk, because your legs would be scraping against each other, um, so I'm going to put this little indent here keep accidentally doing the wrong things alright that's what I did for the legs and it's pretty much that um, what it looks like um, I changed this to something like 45 and 0 0.5 then it looks like that so far I changed this to minus 70 to make it lower that's what I had so far I might want to change this to something like 55 that looks better um I might want to change this to something like 0 0.3 even, um, but I'm going to stick to 0 0.5. Next I made another costume for the body, and I just took out that part right there. Still rounded, still in the same spot, still, still everything. And I colored it blue, because Noob's bodies are blue. Then... I put a switch costume, two costume, two at the top, and next costume. So after that's done, I'd end up with this new costume. And then I did repeat 55. Great one myself, to enjoy by one, and brightness. Yes, everything. Um, I'm going to want to change this to a less purple blue. It's looking quite purple. I might even want to change these to 60. I made them the same height. Looks better. Um, what with the body? I also. added arms so I just took I just took this part I duplicated that blue part um then I just got this and moved it over a real lot till it was squared like that. Um, I changed the color to yellow because noob's arms are yellow. And then I put it to the side of the body. Copy pasted. Put that one also to the side of the body. Then, so far, it's looking like this, looking pretty nice. Um, then, I made a new costume for the head. So, I took out this, I took out this. And I basically just had this square with rounded edges. Except I made these edges a bit rounder. Like what I'm doing right now. Um, it's not looking rounder, it's looking weirder right now.
Um, actually, I'm just going with a circle. Perfect circle. And then I'm going to make this a bit more square by doing this. Um, gonna fix this a bit so it doesn't look as lopsided. Still does look kind of lopsided. <laughs> Not a perfectionist. You know what? I'm just going with a circle. <laughs> Gotta make sure it's the right size. Fits easily on the body. So I'm gonna copy paste, go back. Alright, that looks about right. Alright, <laughs> sorry that took a long time. So after it goes to the next costume, which is the head, it's going to do the exact same thing, except even less, like 30 maybe. And I'm even going to set this brightness effect to even negative 10. To make things a bit darker again. Then, once you've done it, it should look like that. <laughs> the head is still really tall. So let's change this to 20. Then you pretty much have it. Um, I'm even going to make my head a bit bigger. Like that. Make sure everything is centered. And then, then that's how you make the 3D noob with the multiple parts. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Um, put in the comments any questions and any tutorials you want me to make. Um.